In this video, I am going to show you the experiment of fire detection with LED. As you know, we required fire sensor for that. Let us take the LED module. As shown, let us connect the first pin of fire sensor that is positive pin of fire sensor to the positive power supply of battery and the third pin of fire sensor to the negative of battery. From the center pin that is signal pin of fire sensor to any one of the LED. I am using yellow LED here and from negative of LED to the negative of battery to close the circuit. Here you can see there is a small bead like object present in the fire sensor. This is actual fire sensor. So now how we are going to produce a fire? So here I have a lighter with which I can produce fire. Friends make sure that you are very safe and your parents are with you while doing this experiment. Please don't play with fire. To do this project we have to uplift the breadboard so that we can place the fire exactly beneath the fire sensor. Make sure that fire is not touching the fire sensor. There must be a small gap between fire and fire sensor. Now you can see as soon as I lit the fire so the sensor detected and given output to the LED. It will take some time to cool down because as fire is detected we have to reduce the same effect from the fire sensor. Further what we can do? We can reduce the temperature of fire sensor by blowing some air. You can see that LED is turned off. Let's do this experiment once again but be careful please don't play with fire. Unlike other sensors, fire sensor is giving constant output even after some time if we remove the fire. This is because fire sensors are actually used for the safety purpose. So even after the fire extinguishes, it will continuously give the signal output to make sure that fire completely extinguish and to make sure that the user or the person will come to the fire sensor and stop the fire completely. For that purpose, fire sensor will give continuously signal for some time even after we put off the fire. 